But Don, the yes, DC sir. Defender, sir. Yes, Ooh. sir. Speed, you know, All right, guys. Back again for another year with the DC Defenders. Fear the beer snake, all 1,400 cups or so. I didn't and help you in the championship. And the lemons. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the defenders returned to Audi Field again in 2024, where they went undefeated last year. They are led by 2023 Coach of the Year, Reggie Barlow, returning his offensive coordinator, Fred Kais, and defensive coordinator, Greg Williams. They finished the entire season, including playoffs. How's Greg Williams two. not got a job again? Uh, beyond me. <laughs> Defensive well, guru. He's, he's getting some weapons this year. Um, D.C. scored a league high of 361 points last year, or about 30 points a game. Uh, led by the Offensive Player of the Year quarterback, Jordan Tayamu, who does return. Jordan threw for over 2,300 yards, second in the league. His yards per average was 8.2, second only to his backup, De'Eric King, at 8.5. Man, every Tayamu. time I saw King out there, I was like, they're going to run it. <laughs> they're going to run it. I knew well, it. Well, he did at Miami. Uh, Tiamu uh, threw for 14 touchdowns, three interceptions, rushed for 336 yards, three touchdowns. 2023, they also had the rushing champ, Abram Smith, 925 yards. The next closest only had 513. He also had 10 touchdowns. Uh, yeah. But now for 2024, yeah, things have changed a little bit. Yes. Uh, Abram Smith, a couple weeks ago, tore his ACL in practice. And he will miss the entire season. I hated that for him, man. Uh, our two best wide receivers, Lucky Jackson. Well, he plays for the Vikings now. And Chris Blair plays for the Falcons now. So we kind of lost them, too. We did pick up in the draft this year, 2023 sack leader Trent Harris. Greg Williams, mm -hmm. I love that. He, yep. he had uh, 30 hurries and 10 sacks last year. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple names to look at for this season to keep an eye on. Obviously, we're looking at wide receiver, former Texas Tech and NFL wide receiver, Kiki Kuti. And also on the defensive side, former South Carolina and NFL 100 games, 110 games in the NFL. Safety DJ Swearinger. No freaking way. Yo. You got him and Kiki Kuti. Oh, the Jaguars yeah. legend. I remember those fumbles. So that is my uh, review and preview of DC this year. Hoping they gel early for another run at the title. Yeah, man. I, they're going to be an absolute demonic team to oh, play. I, I should mention also the, the backups for Tayamu because we don't have De'Ara King this year. Number one at the backups is DeAndre Francois out of Florida State. And then <laughs> oh, also no. – oh, Thought they hear all these FSU guys like yeah. – <laughs> former Francois. Baylor I like DeAndre Francois. Yeah, former Baylor quarterback uh, Jalen McClendon, also a backup this year. Hey, shout out to DeAndre Francois still trying to still trying to play, man. He's I'll never forget. Good. Yeah, I'll never forget what Alabama did to him and ruined his career. And then from there, he kind of had a dark path trying to find his way back. Yep. And now he's again in the XFL or the UFL. Yep. Who did uh, who did he play for last year? Wasn't it the uh, uh, Seattle Orlando. Sea Dragons? No, no, it's Orlando. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I said, "Oh no, Francois." Oh yes, Francois. He's the quarterback, Harrison of Orlando, man. <laughs> <laughs>